I just like went on a rant and wasn't even recording. Um, anyways, I was talking about, uh, you know, I just went on a rant about, you know, the different types of um, strategies that people use, the average person uses, which is, you know, you're either wholesaling, you're house flipping. Um, and so, you know, again, everybody has heard of house flipping. Like nobody, there's nobody that doesn't know about that. Like that, that's pretty common. Everybody pretty much knows and understands what a house flip is. Um, not a lot of people understand wholesaling, and that's basically buying a house without any money and then selling it to the guy that actually is going to flip it. You know, so um, and then you have your realtors that that sell the property or they look for buyers um, that want to, you know, and, and sell properties that are being sold to the, the buyer, um, which they make a very a small amount compared to what actual entrepreneurs make, which we always make a lot more. Um, you know, making $5,000 is really, frankly, kind of boring. $25,000 is decent, but again, like, that's my level of thinking right now. Like, I'm bored with just making $25,000. Um, I'm looking at a commercial property right now. Um, and again, you know, wanting to get into different uh, types of uh, businesses because, um, you know, when you first start out, it's great seeing those checks for, like, you know, you don't, you don't spend any money and you, and you made, you know, five or seven or maybe 10 grand off of a wholesale deal, you know? Um, house flipping is a big project. You know, you gotta buy it cheap, find it cheap, then you gotta borrow the money and then you have to pay interest on the money and then you have to fix up the house, whether you're fixing it up or you're having some contractor uh, fix it up. Uh, so again, you know, wholesaling is the easiest, fastest way to get into the industry because really all you need is some internet, uh, you need some information, you need a cell phone and a car. If you have those fucking things, all you, you can just literally drive around um, for the time that you have off from your job. I wouldn't say quit your job, but um, when you're first starting out, you can just drive around, you can knock on doors and ask people if they want to sell their fucking house. Really simple, like it doesn't need to be this complex. Um, so again, wholesaling is just buying a home without uh, using any of your money. You're just signing a contract. You're, you're assigning that contract to another buyer, a person that actually has money. Um, they come in with the money and the title company does all of the work. They write checks for you. They write checks for the seller and then they, uh, the rehabber, the home renovator, whatever you want to call them, uh, they begin work on the house to try to make their money, which is basically two or three months down the road. Um, you know, my deals usually last anywhere from under 30 days. There's been deals where um, the longest deal I've ever taken was about five and a half months. It was the stupidest thing, but, you know, we just kept finding more and more stuff out of it. We still made, you know, a good 21 grand off that. Um, but again, it wasn't the only deal that we were doing, so it wasn't really something to really stress about. Um, you know, you just got to find certain things that it makes it really hard um, for some of the deals, and some of the deals are really easy. Um, sometimes you'll make, you know, like I remember the worst check I ever made was 2800 bucks off an actual deal that I did. Um, you know, I made a lot of really shitty money in this industry working for other people because basically you don't make shit if you're working for free for other people. Um, and I always wanted to learn myself. I never wanted to work on a team where I'm only making a very small percentage and everybody else is getting the lion's share. You know, I wanted to have my own company and um, most of the motherfuckers that were, you know, training me or, or mentoring me or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it, again, it's, they, they, you have to go through that process and sometimes it sucks because you don't necessarily want to be like that person. Um, you want to be yourself and you want to have your own thing or maybe you do like that person and you want to work with them and hopefully you, they'll eventually let you become a partner and start making some good deals you know I really rather make like three grand ten times a month than make twenty two thousand dollars in one month you know so again I, I've developed a team um, and I also uh, teach people how to actually do this so it's a very simple process um, you know you have all these gurus out there that they're always telling you that, you know, you need this and you need that. Um, and it needs to be 36 CD disc. And, you know, it, it doesn't need to be that when you're talking about wholesaling a single family home. Okay. So that, that one subject of real estate, one basic course on how to, um, I don't like to use those terms. You know what I mean? Like course, class, all that kind of shit. It's just a basic, how do you do a deal? How do you make money out of thin air? And how you do that essentially is 
finding somebody that needs to sell their home. Now, there's a difference between need and want. Somebody that wants to sell their home is usually going to use a realtor, okay? And they've done all the work, the best work in the world. Um, they'll tell you, you know, they put the granite countertops in there and the stainless steel appliances and they've tiled everything and they painted everything really great. And, you know, houses in that area, they swear by Zillow and Redfin, um, which are way off, by the way. Um, uh, you know, that their house is worth, you know, half a million dollars when in reality, you know, it's only really worth what the market will pay for it or what somebody will pay for it um, and what it appraises at. Um, so again, it, re it really doesn't matter. But when you get somebody that's actually losing their home, they don't have much choice. Um, so you got to find those people. And that's what we work on here, right? It's like pre foreclosures. Now there's different types of deals where you can find a deal where somebody inherited the house. I'm working with somebody, I'm trying to work with somebody right now about they inherited the house and there's three kids. Um, so, you know, and then one of them actually has the power, basically. So they have the, the power of attorney of the dead person and they're the ones that make the decision, make the ultimate decision on how much the house will be sold for, so on and so forth. Because um, some people, they just don't know what they're doing. They just get a house and it just appears from their family. Uh, then you get vacant houses. People are just, they have a house and they live in California and they have it for whatever reason. They bought it for this and they want to sell it for that. So um, all different kinds of ways. But the, the best way to find um, people that want to sell are the people that are losing their home to the bank, uh, pre-foreclosures. And the easiest way to do that is to find a list of those homes, which you can find them anywhere. Um, and you can go out and make sure that they have equity in them. What that means is how much have they paid the house down. If you don't know what equity means, that's exactly what it means. Not patronizing anybody, I'm just letting you know that it's how much the house is worth. If it's worth $100,000 and they've paid down $60,000, they now owe the bank $40,000. So they have $60,000 in equity, in theory, just depending on what the house looks like, okay? If it's a shitty looking house, it's probably only worth $40,000. Um, if it's in perfect condition, then it's worth a hundred thousand dollars. So you need to make that determination. Um, but again, you can, a lot of the times eyeball things. I mean, if you get good enough, you really can look at a property and just say, okay, I can give you this. Motherfucker, dude.